Canadian American government saying there is intelligence showing an Iranian missile took down a Ukraine Airlines flight. There were 176 people on board, including 63 Canadians. Iran continues to deny those allegations. With the very latest, let's go to Beirut. Paul Workman is standing by for us. Paul, good to have you with us on the program. How is Iran responding to all of this? Well, they're still very much denying that uh, one of their missiles shot down this Ukrainian plane. They've made it clear that they just do not believe that theory and that they want some evidence first. They want it from Canada. They want it from the United States. They want it wherever they can get it to show um, that there is some fact behind these accusations. You know, there is certainly preliminary evidence which seems to suggest that that was exactly the case. But uh, Iran is not backing down for the moment, is still very defensive and says, but at the same time, says it will be as transparent as it possibly can in allowing international investigators into the country, including a team of 10 Canadians, to begin putting the pieces together and to try to figure out exactly what happened with this airplane. What's the status, Paul, as best we know, of those black boxes? Uh, well, you know, the Iranians made quite a display today of showing the black boxes being handed over to aviation authorities. And there was some question then about whether they were in good shape. And the answer seemed to be yes, they could be. Uh, they were quite usable. They have been handed over and are now being examined, apparently. Although I've heard recently that there are some difficulties getting the information out of the two black boxes, out of the, the recorders. And that if that is the case, Iran has agreed to invite the Russians or France or Canada to help in getting that information out of the flight recorders. That's the latest on that, Todd. Uh, what about the crash site as well? The, you know, the, the, this video we've been showing of bulldozers and, and you yeah. know, uh, wreckage being taken away and things being cleaned up, Paul. What do you make of that? Yeah. Well, Iran absolutely also denies that it bulldozed over the site. They have confirmed that the debris was taken away and put into a large airplane hangar where the investigators will begin their meticulous work. But, of course, that still gives the sense that maybe they're trying to cover something up. Why do they move it so quickly? Why didn't they wait until investigators were in and could map out the scene and really go over the, the site and scour it carefully for any kind of visible clues that might say this airplane was shot down by a missile. So that's already got people worrying about the trust factor. One other thing, if, if it does get proven conclusively that Iran was responsible for this, I mean, that's definitely, you know, uh, going to be something up for debate. The Russians continue to deny they were responsible for helping to shoot yep. down MH17 six years ago. But what, what are the possible ramifications yep. here, Paul? Well, it's possible that Iran will continue to do the same thing. It will say that the evidence does not conclusively show that one of their missiles shot down the airplane. And then where are you with that? The American uh, Secretary of State today said that they would take appropriate measures if it was determined that uh, a missile brought the plane down. He didn't explain what appropriate measures are. I don't know. Does that then mean um, sanctions? Does it mean uh, forcing Iran out of international aviation organizations? I don't know what it actually means. Would it lead to lawsuits? That's uh, quite possible. F but they're not nearly at that point yet, Todd. It's going to take probably a couple of months at least to figure out what's happened and, and, and to get some sort of conclusive evidence, and maybe much longer than that, uh, before we really know what brought the plane down. CTV's Paul Workman in Beirut, Lebanon, for us today. Good to have you on, Paul. Thank you.